Happy Monday, Mama from her friends. So, I'm waiting for Molly. I'm in the parking lot. So I figured I would fill you in on something that I decided to do. So I saw this on Facebook. And every year I kind of challenge myself to do this, to kind of create a little bit of a financial cushion. Now, at running two businesses and being in the type of business we are, our paycheck is not always guaranteed. Uh, if I don't have dogs come in, if I don't have meat sell, I don't get a check. I don't get income. My bills don't get paid, that kind of thing. So there's no buffer. So in order to have that buffer, we need to plan, we need to save, we need to make sure that, you know, in September, I have October's bills already paid. And that's a hard thing, especially this year. All across the board, small businesses, farmers especially, are feeling the hit of COVID. So I saw this on Facebook and I think I'm going to try it this way this year because last year I was doing really good and then COVID hit and you know, I would tap into the money I'd put aside. So every week I would transfer into a savings account, um, the number week. So like week one, I put a dollar and week two, I put a $2 in. And so it would increase over the course of the year. And uh, then we got to March and the kennel closed and the baby was born and you know, it just stopped. I just stopped being able to do that. Money got tight and I had to take the money out of the savings account and use it to pay bills. So that happens. But this year what I've decided to do, I saw this on Facebook and I'm going to steal the idea. So I took a whole bunch of envelopes. I took 52 envelopes and I wrote one through 52 on one on each envelope. So like, so this is number 50. So when I pull this envelope, I would put $50 in this envelope and then I put it back in my box and then so on and so forth. So each week of the year, and I'm gonna start it a little early. Normally you'd start this like at the beginning of the year. I'm gonna start a little early so that I have all this money, this cushion before Christmas next year. And so I can start the year off with my cushion. Um, and my goal is to actually double it. So Dirk puts in, I put in, and we can actually have double what we would normally, you know, if it was just me putting it in. So what you, so I, you could either go in order or you can shuffle it up. I shuffled it up. So each week's a surprise. Um, and so like, I'll just pull a random envelope and I'll be like, Oh, I only have to put $7 in this week. And then I put it back in the stack kind of thing. Um, or I could put $14 in. And so that's my goal. My goal is to do all the envelopes and have these filled and have this buffer by the end of the year. Let me calculate what the total would be. Hold on. All right, so the total, if I was to do that, was, if I'm successful at this, I would end up with $1,300, just over $1,300 at the end of the year. Um, if we double it, we'll end up with $2,600. So that's my goal. And so I challenge you, I want you guys to do this along with me. I challenge you to save a little money, you know, this could be rainy day money. You know, this can be your Christmas spending. This can be your January bills, <laughs> whatever. You know, for me, it's a security. Uh, at the beginning of this year, we put money onto our propane bill so that I know every single month throughout the winter, no matter what, our propane gets filled because they have a credit. So I gave them my credit in September. They can come every month. They can fill it until the credit's gone, and we're good to go. So fingers crossed, that credit takes us through until ideally till May, um, if I've got my calculations right, unless we have a really cold winter and I'm running the furnace a lot more, but that's the goal. So join me towards financial stability.